My name is Ahmed and today I'm going to talk about Misbar al-Amal, the Hope Probe from the Emirates Mars mission. Now why is this mission such a big deal? Number one, it's the first satellite that's going to be studying the Martian atmosphere very intensively. And number two, it's the first ever interplanetary mission that's being sent from an Arab country. Let's first talk about the date that's been chosen to send this probe to Mars. Why did we choose this specific date? Let's imagine this is the Earth and this is Mars. Mars is almost half the size of the Earth. Both these planets move around the Sun at very different speeds in different orbits. That's why they don't really share an equal distance between them throughout the time. Sometimes Mars is close to the Earth, sometimes Mars is far away. So we'd like to choose a date in which Mars is kind of close to the Earth so that we can send something to Mars. Mars can be as close as 56 million kilometers from the Earth and also it can be as far as 420 million kilometers away from the Earth. At this point of time, Mars is about 114 million kilometers away from the Earth and this is why we call this period of time as the window to Mars from July 14th to August 12th. Even though Mars is close to the Earth at this time, the probe is going to take about 7 months to reach Mars. Let me put this into perspective. The Apollo 11 mission that happened in 1969, it took the astronauts about 3 days to get to the Moon. The Moon is about 380,000 kilometers in average away from the Earth. And yet, it took the astronauts about 3 days to get to the Moon. So if this is how far the Moon is away from the Earth in this context, if this is the Moon, Mars it's actually really far away. That's why it's going to take about seven months for this probe to reach Mars in 2021. This probe was 100% manufactured and assembled in the United Arab Emirates by Mohammed Brashi Space Center by Emirati engineers and scientists. But the launch is not going to happen from the UAE. It's going to happen from Japan, from an island called Tanegashima, under the supervision of the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. It's going to be launched by one of the HIIA rockets manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Japan. Once the rocket safely deploys the probe into the outer atmosphere, Atmosphere, then it has to continue the journey for about seven months. During these seven months, the probe is going to be using the star trackers to actually keep perfect direction and navigation. The journey to cruise is going to be about 493.5 million kilometers. You might be asking why 493 million kilometers to go when Mars is just 140 million kilometers close to the Earth? Because we all are in motion and it takes time for the probe to catch up with the planet Mars. Before talking about reaching Mars, let's talk about the actual job of this probe. The main job of this probe is going to be to study the atmosphere of Mars. And that main job includes the study of the dynamics of the climate of Mars and also to explain how the weather changes the escape of hydrogen and oxygen molecules from the atmosphere. And also to study why these particles are escaping the atmosphere of Mars. So the jobs actually look simple. But the instruments used in this project are actually high precision instruments. Now I'm going to mention the three main instruments that are installed on the probe that will do the job. Number one, the Emirates Mars Infrared Spectrometer which is going to be studying the lower atmosphere in the infrared range. Number two, the Emirates Exploration Imager, which is going to be studying the lower atmosphere in the visible and the ultraviolet band. And number three, the Emirates Mars Ultraviolet Spectrometer, which is going to be detecting all the ultraviolet wavelengths and also going to be studying the 3D structure of the hydrogen and the oxygen molecules in the exosphere of Mars. And throughout the journey, there's going to be tests done by the ground station for these instruments to check if they're working and to be prepared for the entry to Mars. After cruising, Using about seven months, the probe will finally reach Mars in 2021. But the entry is not an easy task. Why? The probe is going to be approaching Mars at a very high speed, about 121,000 kilometers an hour. That was the cruising speed. If a probe goes that fast towards Mars, it might not really get caught by the orbit, by the gravity. It might just slingshot and fly away and we'll never get it back again. So we have to slow down the probe before we approach Mars. The Hope probe is approaching Mars at 121,000 kilometers an hour. And by the time it reaches there, it has to slow down to at least 18,000 kilometers an hour to catch an orbit. The slowing down will be done by the Delta V thrusters which are attached on the probe which will act like tiny rockets that will create thrust to slow down acting as a brake. The whole process of slowing down takes about 30 minutes. So once the speed is reduced to 18,000 kilometers an hour, now the probe can actually take an orbit around Mars. But that's not the end of it. We need to receive a signal from the probe. So let's imagine you are sitting on the Earth watching the probe. It's approaching Mars which is here. When it enters the orbit of Mars, it's going to soon go into eclipse behind Mars. But how can it send a signal when it's eclipsed? So we have to wait until the probe shows up on the other side of Mars and then sends a signal, which is going to take from 13 to 26 minutes because it's a far distance. And that first signal that's going to be coming from the Hope probe all the way from Mars is going to be very crucial because that will be marking the success of 
the mission. Before ending this video, I'd like to add one more point on why this mission is such a big deal, especially because it's the UAE that is sending this mission to Mars. UAE is such a young country, which is just 49 years old and it's already reaching Mars. And none of this would have been possible without the leadership of this country, especially His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and the Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai. Wishing all the best for the launch, for the cruise and for the entry to the Martian orbit, waiting for that one signal to be coming back in 2021. Until then, Assalamu